Guys, we receive the bikes normally in this condition. The best bikes to do a conversion are uh, mountain bikes. You know, by far, mountain bikes are the best. The frame is sturdy, the suspension is awesome, the brakes are hydraulic and disc brakes, a decent gear ratio. So we receive mountain bikes like this Reed, and this bike's gonna go to his 15 years old son and we're gonna install a 750 watts Bafang motor with a 48 volt 17 amp hour battery pack. Basically, what we have to do is we have to remove the crank arms. Here, we know the battery will fit this frame perfectly, but it, it's advisable to, even before installing the motor, being able to fit the battery inside of the triangle, right? Because if you cannot fit the battery here, you have to work with another battery, but I always try to start the installation with the motor. So we're gonna unscrew this crank arm, we're gonna pull the bottom bracket apart, slide the motor in. Uh, you can see the cables down here. One is the gear cable, the other one is the hydraulic brake. And we're also gonna go with front and rear lights, an essential item safety item not only oh i want to ride in the dark no uh here at cyber bikes we tell every single customer you're gonna turn on your bike you're gonna turn on the lights of your bike safety first being visible on the road is the most important thing you have to do to avoid any accidents i i have been riding in bikes for about eight years i crashed quite a few times but I was always riding too fast and I always crashed by myself. I never got involved in a traffic accident. Why? I always ride with lights on and I think the lights have saved me a lot. So guys, every time you do an installation, try to install lights front and rear, okay? The lights will be powered by the battery. You don't need to recharge the lights. They are super strong. And we always recommend doing a brake, brake pads, at least brake pads upgrade. The size of the disc matters and the material of the brake pad also matters. So you're gonna convert this bike to electric. When Reed designed this bike, they designed it for a normal human pedaling, not for a human plus five Olympic athletes pedaling on that bike. So you have to be wise to think that the brakes need to increase in size and capability, otherwise it won't stop the bike. All right, so stay tuned for more. We're gonna do a extreme makeover on this bike and very soon I see you again in another that come from the, under the down tube around the motor. So the gear cable on this side of the bike, which is the right side of the bike, and the brake cable, which is on the right, uh, on the left side of the bike. What happens is, would be too difficult to reroute them uh, on the outside, wouldn't look that cool. The bike would have more cables passing around and would be very difficult to do that. So to, allow the cables to stay where they are, which is, look, show here around. You see the cables, they come from under the down tube and they are going underneath the bottom bracket. They are passing exactly on the gap where the Bafang motor meets the bottom bracket. However, we could not do it without having this torque arm installed. Okay, so to have the cables passing underneath the bottom bracket and in the gap between the bottom bracket and the motor, you have to have this type of torque arm or any other mechanical lock that will 
prevent the motor from rotating upwards. If you are just using the Bafang original black clamp that holds on the bottom bracket and you have the cables in between the down tube and the motor, you are committing a crime because this motor will eventually come loose and if the motor comes loose, it will cut, chop these wires. So then you get your gears jammed and then you have your brake holes or brake cable damaged. Another important fact that uh, was essential to have this torque arm was this thing here, Lucas, show them. So this knob here of the Bafang motor, if the motor ever would come loose, it would bang, it would hit the frame. So it would dent the frame and it would cause a damage. You know, the, you can see that the paint start to peel a little bit because we were just doing tests of what it would do. Imagine this motor coming loose and hitting the frame with a, like a 160, 120 Newton meters, which is what this motor is capable of. So it would be the end of the frame. It would tear the metal, would open a crack and would completely uh, ride off the frame. So. It's essential to have a torque arm, a reinforcement preventing the motor from moving. If the cables go in the gap between the down tube bottom bracket and the motor, or if the knuckle here of the Bafang motor would hit the frame, okay? So it's essential, very important observation to make, and I hope it helps you find a better solution for your installation. All right, cheers from Cyberbikes.